everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Once again, we are doing a Dave's, Dave's podcast. This is Dave's podcast, and it'll be here on out for my Dave's podcast. I want to talk about a very certain subject. Uh, we're coming up to the, uh, well, we're coming up to the anniversary. You guys know from, uh, from 2001, um, the Twin Towers, they came down, folks. But what I'm talking about is the 20th anniversary of it. Not this year, next year. The year would be 2021, uh, the 20th anniversary of 9-11 in 2001. So, folks, we're coming up to not this year, but the next year after will be the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Folks, we're coming up to that very special day when 9-11 really, really came to uh, fruition. And for a lot of people in New York City, Manhattan, that day they came and... Popper the belief that there was predictions about it um, on that day. Yeah, there were a sur- few survivors to that day. Uh, these are people that are actually there in 9-11, inside the buildings of 9-11. Uh, these were survivors. These were people who weren't passed away, per se. These were survivors. Now, I'm not going to mention all of them because um, I don't want to get anybody in trouble or anything. Uh, but the, the p- people who survived 9-11... Um, we, we, uh, we, we, I'm glad their bravery, uh, glad they didn't be a, um, catastrophe from 9-11. So these people, we should give kudos where kudos is due. These are the people who are, are real survivors. The people who really survived 9-11. This is coming up to the 20th anniversary, not this year, next year. So I'm going to do a, what you call a pre, uh, pre-video, pre-video of this 9-11. Not this year, but next year after will be 20th anniversary of the actual day. Can you believe it's been 20 years? This year will be 19, next year will be 20. So we're talking about 20 odd years of 9-11, of that faithful day. Um, this year is going to be 19 coming this September. Next September after this one will be the 20th anniversary. So, I don't know if you guys are ready for it, but I'm going to make a, a a prediction that the 20th anniversary is going to be really big. Not this year, next year. So, people are trying to plan for this big, huge anniversary coming up, not this year, next year. 9-11, the people who survived it, people who passed away, rest in peace to the people that passed away from 9-11, we, uh, we, we won't forget about you people. But the people that were there... Um, in in the buildings that survived that whole ordeal, uh, this is where the Twin Towers were, a big tall buildings in New York City. Uh, these are people that really truly survived the uh, 9/11. Uh, I'm not gonna say every name on this uh, on this podcast about it, but I will. Do, what I will do is um, you survivors made a good recovery if that's what the case was. Uh, 9-11 was a big event, a big event that people didn't realize. Uh, there are speculations on YouTube that uh, uh, there is uh, what you call on videos and stuff like that. There was like, uh, before 9-11 had happened, there was predictions that there were like hidden messages in TV shows, films, people talking about it. This is before it all happened. Uh, people were ma- making predictions that would this that day would actually happen. Uh, this was years and years before it actually happened, the 9-11. And, uh, yeah, so this was crazy. This was very much crazy. So we're talking about the real survivors that actually survived that 9-11. Uh, the people that were in those Twin Towers. That means the, um, we call it the, um, uh, the lobby areas to... The, the inside the buildings, uh, the people who ran down the stairs when uh, when the plane hit the building, people just ran downstairs. I mean, these are many st- many st- uh, stairs, many stairs. It wasn't many steps, many stairs uh, to go down to because these were big tall buildings. These were big tall buildings. They're not like houses or um, you know where you can. It's a few steps going down. But yeah, these are a lot of stairs, a lot of stairs. Those twin tower, twi- uh, twin tower buildings in New York City that came down that day, uh, 
were big villains. Big, tall villains. They, they built these things massively. Uh, big and massive. They always say big and massive. Can you build these buildings to be big and massive? Uh, they sure did. Uh, they sure did. This was uh, uh, the blueprints to what they could possibly do with these buildings. Uh, with the building uh, structure and all this sort of thing. So they built it big. Every, in, in the 70s and 80s, everybody thought big. Everything to be big. Even including the buildings that they built. Um, big, massive buildings. The big, tall scrapers. You can see it from way, way, way up there if you look up. In the, almost up. In, I don't want advise anybody to do that and look up in the sky. But these are big, tall buildings. These are office buildings, mind you. These are office buildings. Uh, they want to make, they want to build these things big, big and tall, big and tall and huge. The word I would use is huge. Uh, but yeah, these are big, tall buildings and, uh, yeah, they sure came down and, and the people who, uh, uh, died that day, people survived that day, these are real survivors. These weren't fake survivors that claimed that they were there and didn't, uh, be there. Uh, these were real survivors that were, accountable, as they would say, uh, to their name. Uh, always put a name to a face, as they say. Put a name to a face, then you have the real true story. Um, but like I said, folks, 9-11 is coming up for the 20th anniversary. I'm trying to think of a hashtag for it, for you people to come up with. By not this year, but next year. Think of a hashtag that you people would love to put on on your videos, not this year. Get ready for next year, because we'll be uh, there'll be a lot of vloggers waiting for that twentieth anniversary of 9/11. Not this year, folks. Get ready for next year. But this will be a pre, as they call, pre um, podcast about 9/11. Nineteen years coming up this September, coming up this this year. Next year will be twenty. So this is like getting ready for this twenty anniversary of that fateful day. Uh, people were just went to their uh, morning uh, morning offices and stuff. All of a sudden, planes went low attitude, uh, and somebody hijacked the plane, hit the planes to the twin towers, came down. It's like a pan, uh, they call it pancake effect, all the way down to the to the ground. I mean, all the way down to the ground, folks. Um, the architect people that built those buildings said they can withstand an airplane hitting those buildings. Not my words, but people who built these places, these Twin Tower places. Um, what else should I say? Oh, yeah, most importantly, folks, uh, I'm trying to think of a hashtag to really put this on the title, a hashtag that you guys will appreciate. Uh, we're, talking about, we're talking about the real survivors. Now, I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to say every survivor that survives it, but they were actually... Whole, they usually tell you about the names, the stories, who are really truly there, and not the fake survivors. Um, I'm not rooting them. I'm not rooting them out. I'm not like the, you know snitched them or anything. I'm just saying, people who are really there in the buildings at the time that 11 happened, that hit the twin to uh, twin towers, they were mostly in the building. Uh, that they cl uh, well, they're not I shouldn't say claim, but were true survivors of it. Uh, ran from inside the building, outside the building, were true survivors. They were from way up top to there, all the way came down from those steps. They couldn't use the elevators due to the heavy duty uh, from the uh, smoke and fire and all that sort of thing. Uh, but the buildings could withstand something like that with those airplanes hitting it. But it didn't do it this time. So, folks, like I said, um, it's just, it's just, like I said, we're, it's coming up to the 20th anniversary. I'm trying to think of a hashtag to put this, to give it a, uh, give it a, a recognition for this video I'm going to be putting out. Uh, 20th anniversary next year of the year, it'll be in the year 2021. Not this year, next year. Um, so get ready. I want to, I want, I want to really, really thankful for the real survivors that really were there. And we kind of left the, uh, kind of ran from the buildings and we're so real survivors. These were real survivors of the 9-11. That at that day when the buildings were coming, were about to come down, they were racing down the steps all the way out to the streets, uh, cause the buildings were gonna come, come down like a pancake kind of thing effect. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah.
I saw the day when it went, uh, went live. This was on a live broadcast. It wasn't uh, pre-taped or anything. It was live as it happens. It would say on the bomb screen as it happens. Uh, so, like I said, folks, these are real survivors. But the people who passed away, rest in peace to those people. I'm not going to say for everybody who were in those buildings. But, yeah, rest in peace and we we'll, won't forget you people. We won't forget you people. And that's why we have a memorial every year, every year around September, memorials uh, of the people who uh, who survived it to uh, um, to really, really, you know, I hope we don't have another one like that ever again in the United States, like that ever again. But these were real survivors. These weren't fake survivors. They were real survivors. The people were actually there, and they hold these people accountable. Well, they didn't really hold them accountable, but they wish they put a name to a face. They wish they say that. A name to a face and a story to it. And these are real people with real stories about that actual day. And, uh, yeah, so, we're gonna, we're gonna say, we're gonna say that we're, gonna th we're trying to think of a hashtag, a decent hashtag for a lot of, of, of viewers of mine on my YouTube channel. What's, what, what would be the suitable hashtag for this? For the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Uh, it should be like 20th, hashtag 20, uh, 9-11 maybe? Or you guys could, just tell me in the comment sections what would be the best hashtag for it, for the 20th anniversary of 9-11. <laughs> I'm tongue tied here. But anyway, folks, yes, we want to take up a hashtag before next year rolls around. Um, and that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a decent hashtag that will get noticed for on YouTube. Um, what, what will you guys will come up with? A decent hashtag that would get this my videos to get noticed. Uh, if you guys can come up with that, I'd be really appreciated. Uh, but so that's what I mean, folks. It's not this year. Next year after, and uh, the year would be 2021. That's the year uh, you look at the calendar. This year is 2020. Next year will be 2021. So this year will be 19 years of 9-11, since 9-11. Next year will be 20. So we're thinking of hashtags here, folks. This will be like a year out from uh, 20, uh, the 20th anniversary. we got to go almost a full year until the next 9-11, uh, until the next uh, 20th anniversary. Uh, this will be 20 years since 9-11. This will be... We're trying to think of hashtags to really get noticed on my YouTube videos. What would what would be the hashtag for it? Should we just say 20th anniversary 9-11? What would be a suitable ha hashtag for this? If you guys can come up with that, that would be really appreciated. Um, so we want to say thank you for the people, the real survivors that were there on 9-11. Remember, at the time, these were people, this building was really tall. It wasn't like your house. It wasn't like your uh, mall area. It was a really tall building. Because they, uh, when they do the blueprints, when they built these buildings up, really up, I mean, they were huge, tall and huge. They call it tall and huge. It made them very big. Uh, that's the uh, knowledge they would give. And they would have blueprints of how building this building. Um, and uh, they would tell you how many floors it is, kind of thing. Uh, but, yeah, um... These were big, tall buildings. But, like I said, the people are running down the steps. They couldn't use the elevators. The elevators would have been terrible. Uh, so they ran either... I don't know if the elevators were available when they were trying to... You know, when, when the... Uh, I'm getting tongue-tied, folks. I'm getting very much tongue-tied. You can tell. But anyway... So, the, like I said, these people at the time had to run all the way down the steps. Many, many steps to get down to the, uh, the street level. Uh, from those twin towers, and you can believe it. It wasn't like it wasn't like a few steps down, many steps. I don't know in those buildings how many steps there were, but there was many. Like I said, folks, there was many. So it's a big, tall building. Imagine, just think of it. If you're in a in a big, huge city in these big, tall buildings, I mean, I don't want to say if it's a death trap or anything. I'm just saying that when they build buildings. They're not meant to uh, withstand these airplanes hitting them. I mean, who does that kind of thing? But anyway, I want to, 
iterate that, not this year, but next year will be the 20th anniversary of 9 11. If you guys can come up with the hashtag, that would be really appreciated. Um, and yeah, yeah, so these are survivors, real survivors. Uh, they usually say they want to put a name and face to these people who survived uh, 9 11. And they have a museum, apparently, they have the museum near that, um, uh, that site, the, uh, you know, Ground Zero site. Um, they have a memorial and all about this 9-11 thing. And these are real people that with real true stories. So this year will be 19 years. Next year will be 20. We were trying to think of a hashtag to really, really give this uh, a really notice to everybody. So not this year, but next year. But we're going to celebrate in a different way, in a weird way. I don't know if... Uh, coronavirus is going to be around for next year, but it, if it is, it'll be different. It'll be in virtual, they call it virtual signaling. Kind of thing. I don't know. Anyway, folks, uh, I don't know if coronavirus 19 or coronavirus 19 will be around by next year, but if it is, they have, might have to do something different for the anniversary. But every year, every year, they do a memorial. Every year around September. Thinking of 9-11. This will be no difference this year. It will be 19 years since that day. Next year will be the 20th anniversary. We got, we almost came to, uh, to realization. That is what it's came to, to do. Maybe I will put the hashtag after this, but folks, it's coming up to the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Maybe we should just put hashtag 20 9-11. How about that? Would that be suitable for this, uh, hashtag? I think not. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna do that, folks. We're gonna do that. We're just gonna put twenty hashtag twenty nine eleven. That's all we're gonna do. That's all we're gonna do, folks. Uh, so, like I said, we're gonna do that hashtag right here for the very first time. Um, so there you go. That that would be the hashtag for you, folks, on social media. So put in twenty twenty and then and then nine eleven. Uh, you know, with the backslash. So let's do that, and uh, yeah, we'll put the hashtag on there. Maybe that'll be simpler for everybody. Um, anyway, like I said, folks, we're we're gonna. I'm not gonna mention all the survivors that survived 9/11, but uh, there would be too many names on here. That uh, we usually put a name and then put a face on it, so we can figure out if these people were really there and survived this whole idea with the 9/11 situation. But yeah, like I said, folks, this was back in 2001. It was a crazy time. Everybody was in high alert. Uh, everybody was really in high alert that time. It took almost five years after that event to everybody be in high alert. It was, it took a while. It really took a while for everybody to really, really go back to normalcy because everybody was in high alert after 9 11 had happened. Um, they all blamed everything, but we're not doing a blame game with everybody. So, like I said, folks, the hashtag will be 20 uh, backslash 911. So, like I said, folks, that would be the uh, appropriate hashtag. If you guys come up with something, do say. Okay, folks? That's all. Anyway, that will be the hashtag. Yes! <laughs>